Hi, I'm recording this video to show a few colleagues the to-do tool that I'm writing slash making at the same time. It's all very work in progress, but I've been using it for several months now. It's called MTL. These are the commands it currently has. I won't be showing all the functionality. I plan to show just the daily routines that I need to do to make my daily to-dos, as you'll see. I can list the documents. As you can see, they're all named as dates because of my daily to-do thing. They could be named anything. The last one is from yesterday. And let's see what we've done what we've been doing yesterday. Just a note, instead of, because it's yesterday, we can use a virtual name for the same effect and we have it shorter too. We can see only the done things from yesterday. So these two, you can see the things that we still have to do and we can create a new document with those things that would have the today's date. This is basically how we switch from one day to another and we transfer only the, the the things that we still haven't done to the next day. This would be a little long, so we have a shorthand for this. And it has additional refinement, unlink, which unlinks the, the first document. This yesterday and today could be any two documents. So if we use daily to do's, it's still a little repetitious to write them because we know it should always be yesterday and today. So we have daily forward, which, which does the same thing. And if I now do this, okay, daily forward, we get a new document. with today's date, with undone things from yesterday. Okay, so let's let's change it a little. have diff which shows it which shows the difference between our working version of document and our stored version last stored version we can see the stored versions like this we have just one the initial one we can store Now we have two. We can also do, do diff between versions. And we can cat any of the versions of the document. This is the last stored version. This would be the working version. For example, if I change it again, say that I move this up I can see it here and if I now store it I 
can see no differences here it's all stored and we see the changes here and we see the previous changes here so as i said we can we can retrieve the previous versions previous store store points to our working document this is the last one when we moved podcast up this would do the one before where it's still down there and the uh, one before so if we want this continue with this we can do the and now we get, got that version of the document to our working document as you can see here So let's let's say that okay, and that's it. We also have some commands to to move the changes to online repositories and move them back. could go now to the another computer and do this and we would get change files down there <laughs>